Hanzong. Oh my god. Mm. 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 Oh, whoa. Did you eat today? Yeah. I haven't. I am absolutely I, starving. I also haven't eaten today in special preparation for this. Yes, I have on an absolute diet just for today. Literally, of the belief that if you're going to a market, like if you're spending a day at a market, you gotta go hungry. Because yes. that way you'll get the, oh, we're here. So we're here at Manglan Suzang. Oh my God, this is crazy. Wow. Have you ever been here before? No, I have not. Oh I've been to a lot of markets in Korea. Yeah. I've never been here. No, but this one is insane. I don't know why I haven't been here. I, honestly, I think this market is where it's at because yeah. they have a lot, like immediately right now, like yeah. we can't see any foreigners. Yes. Sometimes I don't like to go to other markets because it, yeah. sometimes it's a little bit touristy. Yeah. But this one you can see it's just, the, yeah. there's so many different things here and yeah. it's just, just completely local. Agreed. And I also think people need to get into the habit of going to a market without plans or yes. expectations. You know yeah. what I mean? I think a lot of people go to Kwanzang Sizang and they go to like the one that showed up on Netflix and yeah. they have like places they want to hit. But the beauty of going to a market is just walking through and seeing what you exactly. like and you know what I mean? No, yes. definitely. And I think those places as well, they're just so, like you said, you don't want to plan it. Let's, let's right. see where let's this just road takes us. And see where it takes us. Starving. And this road is going to take us very far apparently yeah, because I, I literally, I cool. mean, should we start off easy with some bok bok and chigi? I think yeah, we just yeah, start. I think we should just start. Get in here. You like the you like the nature in there as well? Yeah, we gotta show everything. Uh, okay, let's do it. Yeah, do you want to get some broth? Yeah, just get some of this bad boy in there. I just love broth. People ask me why I love Korean food so much, and it's because almost always there's a broth component yes. somewhere. A, but like even oh, oh, cheers. Ooh. Oh my god. It's so like, so simple, but... Yeah. And it's just like, it's a beautiful fall day. Yeah. The leaves are falling, the wind is blowing, and you have some broth. Like, literally yeah, nothing just, beats that. Yeah, it warms the soul. Exactly. Oh, that is some lovely... It's just pretty much just anchovy broth, right? <laughs> When is the first time that you tried today? When I first came to Korea in 2017. Yeah. What was the best bit about it? What was the best thing? Yeah. When yeah. you describe Sunday, it's like blood sausage, yeah, like, coagulated sausage, something, and like that doesn't give it justice yes. to how just delicious it is. Yes. Like, because it's, it's not that strong, right? Like people think it's exactly. black sausage, and they're like, no thanks. Yeah. But even like haggis, I would say the Scottish version. I didn't live in the UK, but I think that's really strong. But then I think here it's very like, even if you you think like the blood is quite offensive, I think you could eat sundae. One hundred percent. And then be really converted. Oh. <laughs> And she gave us the salt on the side. Uh, yeah, man. The salt is the best. The, the salt is the best part. Yeah. If you're not having your meat with salt, like, what are you yeah. doing? Yeah. Sunday down. Texture is great. It's like meaty noodles is honestly yeah. the best way to describe yeah. it. I don't know why people find it so hard to get down. Yeah. Yeah, it's just very savory, right? Mm. I think so. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And, and with really the salt, good. just brings out all the meaty flavor. Yeah. And then when you order this as well, you get like, is this tongue? Or is this, what is this part? You're the chef here. So that's a bit more stronger. Yeah. But also she asked us, right? She was yeah. like, do you want just- Do you want the nejong? The you want nejong with it, right? Awful products, that's probably something you don't want to have. Yeah. But I think the sundae, <laughs> Oh, oh, takhanjang. Wow. Takhanjang. Oh my god. That's I think cool. we have to, right? Yeah, here will be good. Just look yeah. at the selection. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. There's so many different flavors. I've never been to a place where you can just pick out the individual one. Mm. I always just oh, order we can it. mix this all together? Yeah, I think you can just order like a cup of that and then you mix it together. Oh my god. Incredible. There's so many varieties. Look. There's one, two, three. I'm going to say ten. Peanut butter. Peanut butter? Hello. 
어, 맛 여러 가지 있네요. 어떻게 네. 어떻게 정할 수 있어요? 어떻게 해요? 맞아요. 혹시 춘천하시는 그맛 비슷인가요? 네. 매운 거 좋아하시면 네. 네, 저 좋아. 네. 그때부터 안 매운 거니까 네. 아, 정말 맛있어요. 맞아요. 네. 우리 편판으로 할까? 네, 좋아요. 그러면 양양이랑 어, 아니면 깡통 할까? 예. 어, 깡통. 예. 깡통. 예. 예. 괜찮습니다. 매운 거 엄청 많아요. 자신이 있습니다. 깡통이랑 자신 있어요? <웃음> Let's get, let's get some crazy. Let's get the peanut butter chicken. Come on, let's use the yeah. peanut butter sounds wild. Why not? That's the dumb butter. Dumb butter. Thank you. 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 Thank It's not too sweet. No, I was really nervous. It was going to be That's like nice. poignantly sweet. Mm. Chicken with like a hint of peanut butter. Yeah, it's nice. It's like satay chicken, right? Uh -huh. It's like satay. Mm -hmm. Can you have that like? I thought it was going to be like one of those like. You know how you eat in Korea, you get those crazy pizzas that have like the yeah. blue sauce and you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And, and you're like, like literally, oh, what is this? Yeah. You go in like with that. And I think that's tasty. What's the gum the spicy one? Yeah. yeah what gum, is it called? Gumba? Gampung. Gampung. Wait. Like gampung? when you go to a Chinese place here, there's gampungi. Like I'm going to eat shrimp or chicken. Okay, no. <laughs> Sorry. Can you teach me? Ashinjie. This is a little bit more my style. Yeah. Mm. Comes a fire at the end. Cool. Cool one. Not too bad though. I also kind of like it's not hot, right? So I served like a not little hot. bit. No, like, oh, no, like not, not temperature, temperature hot. hot. Yeah. <laughs> it has that like it shouldn't be nice because like. You want and you think, oh, it needs to be like a yeah, like, but like, yeah. it's, it's like softer on the outside. It's actually quite nice. Yeah, it's actually quite I'm nice. I'm into it. Delicious. That spice, that spice keeps going though. You think the train is stopped? Okay? I'm okay. We should find some shikai. I'll, like, I'll be like your oh. little jump yeah, by the end of this. We gotta find some shikai or something yes. refreshing then. Yeah. What What do they do in this? Let's see what the. Train? They do have makgeolli. Oh. Makgeolli. Whoa. There's so many alcohols. Where's mine? Why is mine not in here? I know. Where's your? Oh my god. This is such a good place as well because normally at markets you don't have a, a, like to be able to get all these Korean alcohols. Yeah. So it's like this Naro market is amazing. So many of my friends they come to Korea and like, oh, where can I buy some stuff? Uh -huh. This one is like one of those days on the last day you could just go around and pick up some stuff as well. Yeah. Get some great food. No, like, these Hejang are. Makgeolli is amazing. Well, like Tokchungdunga is Tokchungdoga is the Ulsan Kedebudogin Makgeolli in there. This is so. Yeah, it's I think like I'm gonna get this right. It's like champagne Makgeolli. Yeah, yeah. It's so it takes you about 20 minutes to open because it's just so literally like, you have to do it like as slowly as humanly possible. Yeah. But oh, that's cool. Well, let's get some food while we're here. Yeah. Okay. Could have you done a menu guy in now? Okay. When it comes to alcohol, we need some onju, right? Yeah. Gochu Twigum is a signature in that big board. Yeah, there, let's so get let's it. Rock on with that. Key point with this one is you need to just get all that sediment off the top. Okay, you know how to open a thing of makgeolli, right? Yeah. What's well, this? A takju, actually. A takju, yeah. Kunchanase, kunchanase. Yeah. I guess the middle. The. Hmm. Here's chef name. Ah. Here's chef. Hi, Tong. How are you? Ah, name is that. It's a 50 meter angle. That's the the ticket. That's what happens when you go to eat with a Michelin star chef. Yeah, my red, my red, red, drinking makgeolli and. Oh yeah. Hey, oh, what do we got? What's our anju? But in the meantime, Tukju is kind of like makgeolli, but a little bit lighter. So at the top, think about rice. Oh, that's, while this is doing this, think about rice wine. It's made from rice, rice. and water and nuruk. Incredible. Mixed together, it's cloudy. But if you let it sit for a while, mm. the top bit will be clear. That is called chongju. Mm. If you take that out and mix it with Korean medicines, it becomes yakju. Mm. If you go down slightly further and you take a little bit of the rice sediment and the top bit that is called takju. Oh. If you go right down to the bottom, that is called makgeolli. So back in the day, makgeolli oh was God actually, crap. all the all the nobles would only drink the top bit mm. and the makgeolli would be for kind of all the poorer ah. people. And they would actually make a second ferment. So they'd take the makgeolli or the jigemi and they would mix water and they would do a secondary fermentation. So takju is like the premium version. Yeah, um, premium, premium. I think it's all delicious. It is. Right? All this delicious. is supposed to be for the poor people, but honestly, I think it's Incredible. I think it's for kings. Wow. Oh. How is this one pepper? Look at that. No, there's 
No, no, but like that is a that is mental. A monster pepper. That is mental. Holy crap! Okay, I think this is more fizzy than bo boxing dog. This is going. It probably is. It's gonna take forever. Mental. Cheers. This is insane. Wow. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah. That's nice. And it's not too spicy at all. No. The tteokbokki was spicier than this, and it's a yeah. whole ass pepper. This is nice. Well, it's like, so it's like a fried pepper that's mm. been filled with meat, slightly sweet soy, onion, chili, sesame seed mm. sauce. That's really good. I'm into it. It's not too greasy, it's not too spicy. What's really cool about this one as well is that you can walk, see the market, eat. Mm. Yeah, it's in a cake pot. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on. Hey, come on, come on. Whoa. Ah, that's good. Oh my god, this is so good. What's it made from? Chopsa or Nepsa? What's that? And it's only 6%, so you can like really get into it and enjoy it. Yeah. Is makgeolli caloric? As in, what, what do you mean? Like, does it have a lot of calories? Like, yeah. if I was trying to maintain my diet up until today, like, how am I doing right now? Not great. Great. Not great. Great. I wouldn't, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't be uh, using that as like a low. I think it's better than beer, but not great. Whatever. Everyone needs a cheat day, you know yeah. what I mean? Cheers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can cheers. Yeah. Sort of the pepper. You gotta, the Andrew, you gotta eat Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm quite interested in Korean alcohol. Mm. That I think really needs the only like it's such a beautiful product. Mm. The only thing that I want is that it gets better packaging. And but I think this is better. Mm. This is so tasty, mm. so delicious. I agree. So we just need to find a way that we can. And I love how many different types of alcohol you can enjoy in Korea. Like yeah. you could be a makgeolli person, a beer person, a soju person. You could be a soju and beer person. You could be a bopunja. You know what I had the other day? What? People, people don't know bopunja is like the is like a native berry made into an alcohol. Uh -huh. You take two parts makgeolli and one part bopunja, and it is the. That sounds delicious. It is honestly the best way to get have a good night. Mm. Joseph, we got about. We just drank two thirds of this bottle. Don't make me out. Don't insane make, right now. Don't make me out to be the alcoholic in this story. That is <laughs> fair. But as the alcoholic, I'm gonna say let's save this because yeah. I feel like something's gonna come up that we're gonna want to drink this with. Yeah. So let's save a little bit for that. Okay. Maybe, maybe your friends come to Korea. What do they think when they try makgeolli? When my friends have come and tried makgeolli, I think they're just confused more than anything else. They're like, Yes. Why yes. is there this white milky liquid? Exactly. And it's apparently like... it's alcohol. Like I think people are just confused by what yes. they're seeing. Yeah. And then, and when you have it in a restaurant, right, they give it to you in like the cup, yeah. in like a, what kind of looks like a cat dish, but like yeah. a more beautiful version, of yes. course. So my friends are just overall very confused, but then they try it and they're like, oh my God, like yeah. this is like heaven you on earth. You see the first sip and they're just still trying to work it figure out. Figure it out, yeah. And then like three bottles later, where do you have yourself a good night. Yeah. Chuk, 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 chuk. Sure. Another part of Shijang's that I absolutely love is how practical they are, like, I come to a market, I want some tteokbokki, and I also want some Crocs, or I want some I shoes. you're the only person. No, but I'm just saying, like, listen, that. if you want, like, house slippers, if you want those essentials and you don't want to pay a lot of money for it, just come to a market. Like, yeah, don't go to enough. Zara or, oh, uh, what is this? Ooh. I've never seen this before. It's a little hot pepper crisp. Yeah, so what is it? Bugo on you. I like fried seaweeds? It's cool that I have a little bit of that. Yeah. Anya, there are a lot of things in there. Oh, okay. Oh, come on, Nita. This is some of my favorite. Yeah. Yeah, this is El Classic. Don't have like a, a crazy strong flavor. Mm. Then you're just kind of eating them and eating them, and then you realize yeah. they're all gone. They're all gone, and you've like gained a thousand pounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But then we have like more, say, traditional vegetables here, right. which is kind of like what I would go for a market to see. Right. Like being a chef, I want to go and see the change of seasons. Exactly. See what vegetables are around. You can see new. everything here. And it's like, oh yeah. That's such a good point. Like I've only ever come to markets to just do the street food thing. Yeah. Because I don't cook that much. And it's like, yeah. I don't need that many. That's the type of life I want to live here. Yeah. Well, like sometimes when I go to my lady next Sometimes I forget my card. And she, sometimes I forget my card and she just lets me pay. Exactly. The next day. That's kind of such an old way of. Sorry, not to no. interrupt you. 
Like we can't have, we can't just there's keep eating donuts. fried there's stuff. Yeah, we, we can. Keep eating fried stuff. No, can we split one fried thing? Okay, let's split let's one guabeggy. Guabeggy. Oh yes. Just one guabeggy. Oh, have to have guabeggy. But important decision we have to make. Do we want yenar guabeggy, which is like the OG? Gobe, always legit. Yeah. Always go legit. Or, my rule of thumb is always. Okay, legit. but that topsar guabeggy looks. Topsar guabeggy. Jokun do what? Jondok jondok. Mother. Kogoto ikko. Halushi kanushi kamen. Okay. Ortoka. Oh my god, it looks so good. This looks really famous, this place. I know. I, I think I've been in the area before, but saw a huge line, and I yeah. was just like... This is really cool, though. Yeah, so, here we go. Hello, I'm going to eat two eggs. I'm going to eat one egg. Is that right? One egg. Yes. Do you want to eat one egg? Yes. Thank you. It's so nice. Oh my god, these are so fresh. Warm. <gasps> Warm. Oh my god, I'm so into it. Mm. Pretty good. It's so cheap as well. I know, two for 80 cents. It's like a cinnamon donut without the cinnamon. Mm. And it's still not too sweet. No. It's just pillowy and... Yeah, you can tell like, like one of these really busy faces because they're just making so mm -hmm. many. Mm -hmm. They come out so hot. Let's try the uh I know. So sticky rice. Oh my god. This already looks crispy I on know. the outside, this is right? It's gonna be insane. Mm. Mm. I hope they heard that crunch. Yeah. Because holy shit. I think the lady down the end heard that crunch. <laughs> this is this is mm. Am I right? I think I like this one more. So like, you outside. didn't want to get it at first. You were like, oh, the OG is the best. Oh, you like, gotta get the OG. There's some weird flavors just to get you in the door. Mm. But like, uh, it's quite, it's a lot more dense. Yeah. The other one's like super, like, it's like a donut, but this one here has got like a bit more chew. No, this is incredible. And everyone would like this. Like, Fish. I can't imagine a single person not liking this. Fish and a coffee. I'm on a class. Who's got takeout coffee? All uh, right. Oh. Get some of these in the morning, take home. I know. In the morning, a little... With, an, with a cappuccino. Oh. Oh. Dip okay. it in. Literally. I'm finishing mine. You are? I'm mm. just now starting to think about my diet and how screwed I am. Mm -mm -mm. Can't have a diet on a day like this. You, you can't. What's today? Monday? Yeah. Well, it's like a little fun day. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I really feel like for people visiting Korea, like, you just gotta spend so much time in a market, in yeah. a Shijang, because you can learn. So I've just in the past 25 minutes, the amount of things that we've covered. Yeah, and then I, I've been here five years, and even just today, because I've never been to this market. Yeah. Just being able to see, like, oh, that, what was it, guabeggy? I've yep. never eaten yep. guabeggy before. Have you really not? No, I'm like, I just need to get out more, I think. Oh my God. Been, like, I've been living under a rock. But that's honestly crazy. Like, you've lived in Korea for five years. Yeah. I've been back and forth, but like, I study Korean. So the fact that we've had Honestly, like such different experiences, yeah. but yet like very thorough, authentic experiences. Yeah, no, I think that, like you said, authentic is the key word there. Yeah. This is such a, a lively, bustling local market that really showcases Korea, but not just one aspect, like the raw vegetables, the, the, yeah. the vendors, the, yeah. the shopkeepers, and it's such a nice way to get like a really good dose of Korea yeah. in a short little street. It's also a reminder to people watching, like learn a little bit of Korean before you come. That honestly, I think it you like a little Chinese in there. You literally just said like, Truly, like I just, I it's like my top, recommendation for people when they say I'm going to Korea what should I do like the yeah. first thing I say is learn a little bit of Korean yeah because honestly like people spend so much time thinking where do I go and what do I see and from my perspective no matter where you go the yeah. first thing that you could use is a little bit of language acumen yeah. to just open yourself to a different type of experience 100%. 100%. and then the rest is like history you could go yeah. anywhere and you're gonna have a great time yes. all the food's gonna be delicious and they're always like you just like yeah it just they welcome you so much more yes. and if you can like wow okay he's trying 100% yeah. Especially because nowadays there's a lot of foreigners in Korea. Yeah, it's really opened back up. Like it's opened up and the numbers are only going up. So yeah. if you could be that person to like smile, show a little kindness to these shopkeepers and speak a little Korean, it'll do you wonders for Definitely. sure.